Hey y'all, welcome back to Strand Farm, where we grow independent together. Today, Leviathan's coming down. We've got a 100 foot tall poplar that's right in the way of our pottery studio. This tree has been on my mind for several weeks. I knew it had to come down someday. I knew we wouldn't get it down with our electric chainsaw, so we did the upgrade. We even got some uh, safety chaps for my legs. I'm gonna direct the felling of this tree to go precisely between this stump and this fire pit. We've been clearing trees along this direction, about 100 feet, to be the footprint for Mr. Leviathan that's coming down. With good fortune and favorable weather conditions and a sharp uh, chainsaw, we should be able to get this done. This 20 inch tree is gonna be the largest tree we've ever cut. All the trees leading up to this point have been practice. We take our time when we cut trees down because it doesn't come down the right way. You're in a world of hurt. They're so cute, Moose. This first cut is going to be very important. It's going to be our wedge cut. It's going to be about right. I'm comfortable at about this height. So this is where I'm going to mark it with the chainsaw so I can stay true to where I'm trying to land this sucker. Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to mark out where my, my back cut needs to go. And for this tree with how large it is, I'm going to make it about two inches above the center of my wedge cut. And then hopefully, when I get to where the hinge is, which will be about, for this tree, my hinge probably needs to be about two inches. They say like one tenth of the diameter of the tree. So a two inch hinge wood. Hopefully there isn't the back pressure where my ch chainsaw gets stuck because then we're in trouble. Good girl, Moose. Good stay. We're a third of the way in, so that looks good. I need to get more on this side. I'd hate for it to fall directly on top of those trees. But a good correction to do would be to make the hinge wood thicker on this back side. If I make the hinge wood thicker on this side, it'll pull the tree this way. The line from here is on, uh, is on the stump. And this, I'm gonna keep this cookie in. It's lower on this side, but this will help it also hinge this way. All right, my friend. So at this point, I want to do my back cut. Hello. All right, let's do the back cut.
Here she goes. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Honey, look at the crown of this tree. It all just bust. Man, it went right where you wanted it, didn't it? Yep. Well, you think cutting down a 100-foot tall poplar is a big deal? Go check out Metcalf Mills, where Justro just announced via Kickstarter and his YouTube channel that he's going to start making grist mills for community projects. You know Strand Farm's getting in on that. We'll put a link in the description below for you to check out that Kickstarter. What? A big tree. I think Moose likes your pants, huh? You like these, honey? So Papa doesn't <laughs> cut his leg off. Yeah, Moose, good girl. If you thought, boy, wow. Blah, 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 blah. Let me put the chainsaw down. Whoa, whoa.